So today I'm gonna to be doing a wet look on this concrete right here. So it's a st um, stamped concrete right here, stain that the stain is was added to the concrete. We're gonna be doing a wet look. It's gonna bring back some color and add sheen to it. And prior to doing that, because I wanna get my edges done, I take a Milwaukee, you know, just battery operated edger and I'm gonna edge this and then I'll blow it off. That way um, I can get my edges done and there's not gonna be grass and dirt getting in, mixed in with my, my product, my clear coat. So just gonna do this edging real quick here and then we'll begin the clear coat. So I'm gonna be using, this is an oil-based product H&C called Clarishield. And it's a concrete sealer that adds a wet look. I am just use throwaway tools when doing that because I'm not gonna try to clean anything. When I'm done, I'm just gonna throw away my brush, throw away my roller cover also. So I'm gonna be using a Premier White Woven 3 8 inch roller to apply it, just use like a 3 8 inch or half inch. Going to be using just a chip brush to do the cut ends. So I'm just straining this. We're working at another job site. This was the leftovers. Got a lot of leaves and debris in it. So I'm just straining all that stuff out. Now I got some cut ends I'll be working on here. Just gonna get it wet, just like spill it over this edge so that edge gets done. I'll use my brush to get these expansion joints. Working my way. That didn't sound so good. Now this is typically do one coat. If you're working in the sun, it's gonna dry really fast and it's important to um, lay it out properly. This is in the shade. It's not gonna dry so fast. So, but I still do like to do a layout with this product because um, even if it's drying slow, if it's drying too fast, it stipples and you'll see it. So I like to just do a layout like this. I would do that a second coat if I was working in 
hot sun. It's really forgiving when you're in the shade like this. But you can see what it looks like right there. It's gonna look just like that when it dries. And I'm never really a big fan of oil-based products, but this is one time I use an oil-based coating because I think the oil base on concrete is far superior to water-based concrete coatings in our climate up here. We have an unusual climate where we get snow will sit on this concrete for months. This concrete will get extremely hot in the summertime when it's 105 degrees. Rain, snow, ice, oil-based products from my experience when it comes to clear, wet looks just perform better. Now, if it's drying really fast, you're going to want to pay attention to your layout. There is, it is getting some sun in some areas right here. This clear coat sealer goes really fast. Like I say, I typically do one coat. That's it. I pressure washed this really good prior to doing this. So you want to pressure wash it. I like using a Mighty M all surface cleaner and a rotating nozzle when I do the pressure washing. Um, a lot of people ask me what pants I'm wearing. These are Thrive workwear pants that have removable knees, but you don't have to remove them to wash them. I never actually, once I put them in when I buy them, I never remove them. You don't want to have big puddles. You're just putting on a nice even coat, kind of like if you're doing their solid color stain. I use H&C's color top solid color stain. Also, so I'm going to just roll on a nice thin even coat and then lay it out. You'll see when I get to larger sections like this, you'll see how I do my layout. And I like to come to the edge, just spill it over the edge with my roller so the whole edge gets covered. See, it's picking up some debris even after blowing it off on my roller. I'm not so worried about that. It's got stamped concrete, so I might have to like press down to puddle it down into the stamped part. And then I'll just roll over it, even it back out. Now, so I like a four to eight foot extension pole. I can lay it out now. I start getting too much debris on my roller. I usually keep multiple rollers and I'll just switch it out um, for another one. You could have leaves and stuff falling while you're doing it. That's what it looks like right there. Like I say, this wet look, there's, I like this product. I like a product, actually Bear makes a product that's a low sheen water-based product. That's a pretty good product. Also, if you want a, a low sheen co coating where it's not, wet looking but it does have a slight sheen to it don't work you know too big a spaces at a time that way you have time to do your layout you don't want it drying too fast i'm starting to get into the sun so i don't want to get too much done
this stuff goes a long ways. Um, typically, from my experience, you could be anywhere like 300, 400 square feet per gallon. Don't want to get too far ahead of myself. If I hit my layout. And it's kind of interesting from experience. If I'm working in the sun, I'll do a coat. And if you just do it randomly and not lay it out, it, it stipples the clear coat and you'll see the, what we just call stipple flashing in your concrete and your clear coat. So you just wanna be aware of that. I do like wearing gloves too. Um, this stuff is kind of pretty nasty stuff and don't want to get it on your hands. It's like wearing gloves. No matter what, you're typically going to get some on your hands no matter how hard you try. So I wear gloves that I can just take off when I'm all done. I won't have it on my hands. I also like always like to lay it out the same direction. I lay it out pulling towards me this is going to be a little different now because i'm working this direction so i'm typically going to work you know sections at a time my saw cuts like when i do epoxy floors that determines the sections i'm working with so Just want to make sure like I'm rolling it, spilling it over that edge. If you want it to look really good, you want the edges, even the sides of your edges done. So you just get it kind of puddling up in front of your roller. Just spill it over the edge. Some people ask like why I'm, I'm not using a bucket when doing stuff like this. I'm just more comfortable working out of a pan because I can slide the pan really easily and it's not gonna tip over. Um, and I can load up my nap pretty easily. I don't have to dip it down into the bucket and get it all over the sides of the nap. It's just what I'm comfortable with. So when I'm doing the edges, I'm just gonna just like that, spill it over and that whole edge, that'll spill over the edge and the edge will get coated. 